And then we're gonna run a uh, we're gonna run another one back because we can. Let's see what we got here. At any moment, this streak could be at risk. What the heck is this? <laughs> it's so it's like bit crushed. Tainted blue baby to blue baby. I think it's tainted blue baby to blue baby. Sorry, I was just... I was picking up some hydration. Even though I know what the question marks are for, I still hate seeing them. I, I In chat, I'm just being honest, okay? Okay, blue, tainted blue baby... to enemy blue baby. Start prediction. Will NL accomplish his objectives? You have one minute. Prepare yourself accordingly. There is another one on, on Extreme Cheapskates that would... I mean, Jay was losing his mind where, like, the lady, um... Was... <laughs> I mean, okay, again. I didn't see this one, so if there's... More reasons for this, I apologize. All, it, you know, it's the internet. All nuance has gone out the window. But... Um, in their house, they only use one light bulb, and then... When they go from room to room, they unscrew the light bulb and then screw it in in whatever room they're going to. But they had company over and they were using the light bulb in like the family room. So one of the guests had to be like, excuse me, can I please borrow the candle so I can go to the bathroom? And you're like, come on. It's just... You're, you're just making so much work for yourself for, for nothing. And then... They were watching the football game, I guess, and during the commercials to save electricity, they uh, turn off the TV, and then the guest was like, how do you know the game's back on? And you're like, it's just... Like, again, if you got no other options, okay? I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do to to survive and, and provide. But like, if you have a, even a, a small cushion, aren't you just ruining your quality of life? For what? I, I, I think it's like, I mean, this is just my hunch. My hunch is that it's like a, a just a sense of superiority is like, because you, you see it all the time, even in, you know, otherwise relatively normal people. They, you know, hey, look at those suckers. They, look at that, look at that. I bet they're, you know, they're wearing a, a, a $50 shirt. I got the same shirt on sale for 25 bucks. All you got to do is wait for the outlet sale. You got to be stupid to not do that. And, you know, saving money is, like, admirable in, in some cases. But so is recognizing that, you know... When, when you save money, oftentimes you pay with something else. Usually that resource is less valuable to you, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> like wait, waiting in line for an hour uh, on a Saturday to get a free ice cream cone at Ben & Jerry's. Worth it when I was in uh, university for sure. Maybe, maybe worth it as an experience with my child. Um, when she gets a little older, but for now, I'm like, oh, we can just go down the street and, and get this done in like five minutes, and then like, you know, time is limited. But I, yeah, I, I think it, I mean, I do have to acknowledge it, like, making fun of it is a little, <laughs> a little spicy, because, you know, when you watch the show, you're like, these people have... Not in a mean-spirited way, but, like, these people have something wrong with them. So, like, I don't feel great about just mocking them, except for the rich lady who was begging her neighbors for free food. In which case, I'm like, please, uh, stop that, you monster. Uh, and she's, like, cutting up the... I... <sighs> She was, like, apparently this was staged for the show, but she lived in, like, a nice, you know, suburban community. She went to a farm and, like, got a bunch of chickens and goats and then just started putting them in her backyard so that she could... She was talking about how, like, did you know that, like, if you have a goat, you get... Yes, please. 
uh, a gallon of milk from each goat daily. And I'm like, lady, you're gonna have... Your kid's gonna be... A six-year-old kid, you got them drinking a gallon of goat milk a day? Are you fucking insane? It's just, it's just madness. Go mad. Yeah, that, that kid is gonna be like... You know, <laughs> they're gonna be like a 400-pound bodybuilder or something like that. It's, it's just crazy. Which is not necessarily, like, not admirable. I'm just saying. Hey, how did you get so strong? Oh, yeah, from the time I was five, my mom forced me to drink... Uh, a gallon of goat milk every day because it was technically kind of free even though you know it's not really free because you have to feed the goat I don't have any problem with having you know animals on your property it's just like you know when you live in like a, a, a community where your neighbors can hear your chickens crowing at the crack of dawn uh, you're just kind of like a, a dickhead quite frankly if, if we start living, you know, in a post-apocalyptic, like, Mad Max world, then then maybe I'd be like, oh, thank you, chickens, for waking me up at 5.45 a.m. because I don't want gasoline bandits to steal the last little bit of fuel that we got. But, you know, while we're still here pretending that the Empire is getting, you know, more resilient every single year, uh, I would just appreciate if we could have, like, some sense of decorum. I was just waiting for the blow up to happen here. Thank you. Don't have to worry about that for five years. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I'm just saying, like, you know. And again, even like some of the extreme cheapskate stuff didn't even it 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 I just laugh when it's like it only affects them. I'm like, okay, whatever, ruin your own life because you wanna like Instead of spending, like, you know, two bucks on a roll of toilet paper, you'll have your toilet paper budget, um, but spend an hour a week ripping the one-ply into two-ply and then rationing your individual pieces. What's your job? Oh, you're, like, a, a the senior VP of IT at your multinational conglomerate? Okay, sure, that seems like a great use of your time. Uh... But it's the ones where, like, the, the people are just, like, inconveniencing other people. That, that's what bothers me the most. Because I'm like, don't make me a part of your fetish just because you get a big old boner when you spend 65 cents on something that should cost $3. Like, don't make me a part of your, of your lifestyle. <laughs> like, the guy who... Uh, why not? Let's 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 get funky with it. The guy who like showers with his drain plugged so that after he showers he can wash his dishes in the dirty shower water. Oh, Monkushi. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. I think that's idiotic and unsanitary, but at the same time, I just kind of look at it like you know, like He's only really hurting himself unless people come over to eat. And nobody was coming over to eat, which may have been part of the reason he found himself with this level of eccentricity to begin with, but let's ignore that because it's, you know, more sobering. Um, but when, when it, it starts to affect other people, that's where I'm like, come on. I didn't even pick up the penny. That's how mad I was. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the lay I didn't even mention the not even, the the candle and light bulb uh, family. Where they had people over and and the lady uh, I, I refuse to take that as you. The the lady went to the grocery store and asked them for expired meat that they were just going to throw out that she could get for free. So that she could make a baked ziti and I get I don't know if they actually got any to be fair, but I know that she asked and then after that, she cooked the baked ziti in the dishwasher while they were just washing the dishes to, like, be, just to save power. And you're like... <sighs> it's like you're, you're possibly poisoning the people that are coming over to your house. It's just so 
stupid. Like, again, being frugal, I'm not knocking being frugal at all. I'm just saying, like, you, you just take it a step too far sometimes. And then pisses me off. <laughs> oh, dude, you're reminding me now. Yeah, Jay was telling me at the grocery store, so like she bought grapes. You know, you pay by weight with most uh, produce, right? So she brought, she bought grapes, but she peeled them all, not peeled the grapes, but picked them from the stems and then left the stem in the grocery store so she didn't have to pay for the stem. I was like, you know what? I don't support that necessarily. Like, I wouldn't do it. It probably saves you two cents, would be my my guess there. Um, but okay, fair enough. But then Jay said that she bought bananas, but before she would uh, buy them, she peeled them all so that she didn't have to pay for the peel. And you're just like, come on. Like, are you, I don't even, I, I don't think the bananas will, don't they, like, the, the peel also keeps them good, right? Like, are you going to eat six bananas in a day? I don't understand. It's just too much, man. And then I I was telling Jay, and I'm surprised, because I thought that my take was unpopular, but both Jay and his friend Wes were like, if I ever saw that, there might be hands thrown. And I, I said it already annoys me enough when I'm at, like, Whole Foods, and then I uh, try to get some barbecue chicken out of the hot bar, and then I take my scoop out, and I see that it's just, like, six chicken bones covered in barbecue sauce because somebody was in there earlier using the scoop to, like, surgically remove the meat from the bone so that they don't have to pay for the bone. Yeah, no problem. Just just fuck the next person who goes into the buffet, I guess. Picks up a spoonful of, like, old chicken bones and sauce. Really appreciate it. But I feel like the last time I brought that up, this is how I know we've had a culture shift around here. The last time I brought that up, people were like, well, you can't eat the bones, really, so why would I pay for them? Now people are like, I would never. You've changed. It's a, it's a good thing. You've changed. Maybe you changed? I didn't change. I got the same opinion. Don't do that. I'll pay for the bones. Doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm not going to just buy a box full of old bones, but, uh, you know, if there's chicken attached to it, I'll do it. I it, it just, like, one of the reasons it annoys me, maybe this is, like, smarmy, but I'm like, hey, you want, like, a money-saving tip uh, for grocery shopping? Don't shop at Whole Foods. It's so expensive. Like, if you really want to save money from the hot bar, don't go to the hot bar. You're paying, like, a, a, a markup for convenience to such a ridiculous degree. Like, you can't be frugal and also go to the hot bar. They're, they're at odds with one another. They're mutually exclusive. You could actually eat in a restaurant. We, we just farted a ghost pepper over there? The heck? Oh, I'm so stupid! Okay, doubters, everyone relax, okay? <sighs> everyone chill. We're doing we're doing just fine. Gotta gotta be down because I want it all. It started out with a piss. How did it end up like this? It was only a piss. It was only a piss. Well, I don't think we're gonna make alabaster box work. I think we head down to the next floor. Well, let me think. Let me think. We can't really get over there. What about two alabaster boxes? There you go. <laughs> I'm taking a shit as she's taking a piss as I'm taking a shit and she's taking a cab. Now the cab is... <laughs> And she's taking a piss Well, she takes off her shorts. Just let it go. Donkey dunk, dunk a da donkey dunk. What was the pill? It was gulp. I'll take a gulp. I just can't piss. It's killing me. 
Uh, okay, yeah, sure. That's, that's Mr. Brightside. Thank you for the plus twos. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man, I don't want to get kidney stones. I don't think I'm going to get kidney stones. That's a little copium, but like... The way I understand it, what are like the risk factors for kidney stones? The big one is like... Soda consumption... Genetics and dehydration, right? Like, th that's the holy trinity. My soda consumption is pretty close to nil, honestly. Um, I, I drink a lot of water. And I don't know any men in my family who have kidney stones. Weren't you very dehydrated at one point in college? Yeah, from I was like pretty dehydrated just habitually from the years 2006 to 2010. But I'm hoping that, you know, if there is like a god up there that like they're like it's college. Don't give him kidney stones. It's college. That was years ago. It's like that's like a free life, you know? God will save me from my kidney stones copium. Your Honor, have you considered, in my client's defense, it was college? I had a half-inch kidney stone stuck in my kidney, ended up with surgery and a stay in the ER. Would not recommend. See, that's... If, if I was aspiring towards kidney stones, um, that would definitely assuage me. I just don't think I'm going to get them. I don't have any evidence really to back it up. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. I drink like a lot of water. What about gallstones? I don't even really know like what causes those. I would not be surprised though. Gallstones? I think I could get over it. Kidney stones, no thanks, man. You're the guy to get a new knee at 50? I definitely believe that. Like, my joints are doing okay. Except for that time I tore my meniscus. But that was not really, like... I don't think that was a genetic problem. I think it's just because I, like, walk and run like kind of a weirdo. But, uh... Oh... I definitely, I would not be surprised if I, if I want to get like a, you know, an, a knee replacement or a joint replacement at some point. Every once in a while, I'll just be like, mm, my leg kind of hurts. Now that's a fight. And that's an item. Have I been to my item room? Where did we get... No, we have not been. It's fine. <laughs> you ever get like a weird foot pain? Kinda. I think it, I think it's just uh, it's like aging. Sometimes you're just like, hmm. There's like a, a generalized pain in like a part of my body. It'll probably go away in like ten minutes. And then, like, it goes away, and you're like, all right, well, I'm back to being immortal. Same. <laughs> Soak it in some Windex. Oh, it's, I see somebody is taking the my big fat Greek wedding pill. Taking the Vardalos pill. Yeah, I know who wrote and starred and directed it. Well, I don't know if they directed it in my big fat Greek wedding. Everybody, people were losing their minds over... Whoops. 
People were losing their minds over Nia Vardalos back in the year 2001, man. Okay, yep, yeah, you got me. This item room better be worth it, that's all I'm saying. That was pretty sick. We do have four luck. It was not worth it. I need to stick with this. This is gonna... The amount of HP we're gonna get from like one great play on the Omega Penny is out of control. Suplex is good. You'll forgive me, chat, but um, I'm gonna march to the beat of my own drum. Because I have a 20 streak. Gotta be doing something, right? Not trying to say you don't know what you're doing. I'm not, not trying to make anybody have the worst day at their job or anything. I'm merely suggesting I got a good I got a good thing going on here by marching to the beat of my own drum. I bet if this doubles, it'll put them over here. Whatever. Thanks for the penny. Copy the save file yet? I haven't, but in my defense, I don't have to if I just keep winning. <laughs> hey, name name this celebrity. Winning! It's a tough one. Hashtag winning. Barbara Walters? Wrong. Is Larry King interviewing Charlie Sheen. Why not? What's your streak record? Before, um, either after birth or after birth plus. Before that, I had a 121 streak or something like that. Pretty amazing, right? This run is getting into dangerous territory. Um, I see the Tinted Rock. We can't blow it up yet. Now we're on like 19, I think. Please stop throwing. Well, in order for that to happen, I need Eddie to remove this character from the game. Which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. This is a really uh, cool room as well. One of the things I like most about it is how it's impossible to not get hit. <laughs> that's that's one of my favorite uh, things about this room. Just don't. If you're thinking of adding this room to your game, don't. Okay, I can feel the tilt coming in. It's very simple. If you can feel the tilt coming in, hang out, just stop for a second. Take a second, give give your head a shake. Shoot a fire over here to blow up the tinted rock. Thank you so much. I was really hoping you would give me a spirit heart that I could possibly double. That's fine. Thanks for the key. What the? What the heck? It's impossible. Okay, don't double infamy. Although, imagine if you took two. Do you think it would give you a 75% chance? I'm scared! I'm still scared! It's, we, it's, it's starting to fall apart, man. It's all right. Well, you find one shop, it all comes back. You find one shop, it all comes back. Can a shop, can a shop, and I'll be okay. Being able to see enemies is honestly like a little bit overrated. No greed. I will become back my money. That's a real threat. I I did 
by the DLC. So at any point it could happen. I'll take it. We got 50 cents. That's fine. That's fine, man. We got 50 cents. There's a chest on this room. Am I am I losing my mind? It's under oh <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Couldn't see it there. Ooh, just about missed you. Just give me more luck upgrades. Ghost Pepper wins the run. Never use your poops. This is the, the ultimate strategy for Tainted Blue Baby. Never use your poops. Balls of steel. Squam, 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 squam. The squammy do 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 do. Okay, this is good actually. Buy this. The world card. I was hoping it would be a teleport, but that's is life goes on. Um, we definitely want to get closer to spun. You get me closer to spawn. The world. I didn't mean to pop that, as you know. I thought we had created gas. My mistake. We're done, believers. Absolutely not. We blow up this guy. Just chill. You see if you, you get a, a boss fight that could give you a drop. You buy your spirit heart. Buy a key. Get me out. I mean, we went to a shop. We went to our item room. We just didn't get to go to the boss fight. Life goes on. It's only the blue baby. Like, we're already strong enough to kill blue baby. We just need HP. I'm being completely sincere. Like, honestly, this is like, you're, we hit a goose, okay? We took off from Newark International Airport in sunny New Jersey. We hit a goose. But your pilot is Sully. You got nothing to fear. Plus, we got this Eddie room. Pretty much guaranteed payout. Just one more juice. One more juice. Tease me. Just one more tease. It's fine. I didn't I didn't even want it anyway. You gotta try. I I'm Sully. Dude, I'm Sully. No, yeah, you know that classic playground game. I'm Sully. No, I want to be Sully. You were Sully last time. I'm Sully. Just is what it is. Okay. I mean... This is a great doubling attempt here, yet again. Two rainbow babies would be kind of sick. Don't you, don't you think? Please? Yeah, I'm due. Just juice me, dude. Conjoined. Hey, I don't know if they contribute, but if they do... If they do... Don't do it. When everybody's saying no, you should listen to them. <laughs> you beast. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm playing this anymore. Thanks, thanks so much. I guess you could give me some some batteries. Smashing through the boundaries, lunacy has found me. Please give me some batteries, batteries, batteries. I know every Metallica song that was included in the bass version of Rock Band. Farmington? Now that's a classic. Far that, if, if they put that in Rock Band, I would still be playing it to this day. Farmington. Farmington Hills. Thanks for infinite spirit hearts. This one's for the believers. 
I'm, I don't care. I'll spend, man. Okay, that's fine. That's a spend. Juice me. Still pretty good. Still really good. Nothing pretty about it. Mm. Save me. Juice me. And you guys told me not to double rainbow baby. Boy, you're very embarrassed now, I'm sure. I, I don't like that when I fart, sometimes a ghost pepper comes out. Ha ha ha. Ew, egg out of context. Take this out of context. Uh, your mother <laughs> is so generous that when she sits around the house, she really sits around the house. I can throw fire, that's fine. Look at that, look at that. All stats, baby. Good joke, keep it up. Hey man, it's TGIF. Your piece. Friday, well I was gonna say Friday, but you know on TGIF we don't always have the best jokes. Thursday gets it funky, exactly. It's okay, because I'm, I'm calling my shot here. We're going to get... Guaranteed, by the way. This is this is the egg guarantee. Deal with the angel. And then the angelic brimstone. Bank it. Bank it. Scared yet? Doubters, you scared? Oh, that's, that, that's what I meant! That's what I meant, angelic brimstone! That's what I meant! I didn't mean the stinky brimstone, that's stupid. Give me this one, it probably ruins my run, right? Something like that. We take it, we take those. Holy crap, he did it! <laughs> uh, they'll never know. It still counts. Poop laser. Holy crap, good pun. Thank you. You know there's this, a breakfast cereal in British Columbia called Holy Crap? It was featured on the show Dragon's Den. For that reason, I'm in. Just give it to me. I'm, by the way, I know we've talked about this ad nauseum. I still, I'm so annoyed when I buy goldfish crackers and people tell me they're like for kids only. Because I just think, I, I don't understand why, like, oh, if you buy Cheez-Its, Cheez-Its, you're like, oh, that's an adult snack for adults. But if you buy, like, a different cheesy cracker, it's like, oh, it's for children because it's shaped like a fish. It's the same, it's the same ingredients. Plus, goldfish are delicious and not that bad for you to begin with. Like, they're, they're a slightly um, less bad for you snack, which is nice because they also taste fantastic. But then, I got pissed off because I was reading the back of the goldfish bag, or whatever you could, like the carton, right? And, uh, the back of it says, and I, I kid you not, we're not just chefs or whatever. Like, I, I, I hesitate to call them chefs, but you get the idea. But they go, we're not just chefs, we're parents too. And I'm like, Pepperidge Farms! Shut the fuck up, man. Okay, I'm trying to buck the trend that this is a snack that is only consumed by children. Meanwhile, on the back of the uh, box, you're going like, it's good for your kids because it's got some vitamin A. Like, you're not helping my case. I get the ones with the sunglasses on them. Oh, they keep the MF and things on them. By the way, don't even st Oh, well, what's next? You're going to eat animal crackers? Yeah, okay, but then when you when you go to the grocery store and you buy, you know, four liters of Pedialyte, literally designed for, like, you know, dehydrated infants, not for irresponsible adults to get over their hangovers slightly faster, like, you're like, look at me, life pro tip, buy Pedialyte at the grocery store. 
face no consequences for the, your destructive lifestyle. Then you're going to get on my case for, for buying goldfish crackers. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Okay, just chill. Don't shoot the fire when I poop. You ever eat pretzel goldfish? Can I tell you something? I, I almost bought pretzel goldfish at the grocery store a week ago. I'm going to say it was about a week ago. Um, then I, I looked at the back of the pretzel goldfish to see their nutritional information because pretzels are like one of the least healthy foods that you can possibly eat. And it's so much worse. Like... Look, you shouldn't be probably eating the goldfish to begin with, but, you know, Poe Buddy's nerfed. But the pretzel goldfish are, like, not good for you. Jay, we were talking about... <laughs> we were talking about extreme couponing earlier. <laughs> or, no, sorry, extreme, uh, extreme cheapskates earlier. I... Fuck you, dude. Not, not you, Jay. You're cool. You you tilted me on the on the extreme cheapskate stuff. I I'm happy to see again the like the Overton window of like my chat has changed so much in the last year or so. Last time I brought up ex extreme cheapskates, people were like, "Ah, oh, NL and hating poor people. Name a better combination." Now people are like, "You know what? This lady really should not be." Living in a million dollar house and flaunting it if she's going to be begging her neighbors for food. We're still on this? We came back to it. What would you like to talk about, new Spire? Did a new uh, volume of One Piece come out recently? Did Fluffy D. Luffy uh, defeat the gargantuan kaiju that was threatening New Donk City? Best bands with worse names and vice versa? Okay, you know what? That's actually a pretty good bit. I apologize for suggesting that you were a person who could only have meaningful conversations about manga and we're incapable of expressing human emotions about 3d uh real life figures i apologize okay that's that's my own bad habit cursed penny that seems fun um please don't do not accept the apology <laughs> okay well you know i can't you can lead a horse to water you can't make it drink um i mean i'm gonna there's a couple okay I'm, I'm, like, the only person out there still defending U2. U2, good band, at least, you know, up to 1995 or so. Uh, horrible name. Really bad name. I, honestly, I, I can't really think of many band names where I would be like, this band name is very good. Suplex right now. You could have had suplex, man. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> Don't stay awake for too long. Sound is something and get a cup of coffee for your something. Doubters in shambles. And you love to see it. Can I tell you? You love to see it. I mean, if you've seen 20 straight runs that are all wins and you bet on a loss and then you want, like, sympathy for losing your money, like... What, do you not recognize patterns? What, you don't like winning? I bet a G, who cares? 
Ain't never seen Versace sofas. <laughs> I know a lot about Kanye West, as you can tell. I'm constantly quoting from either the the two albums I've listened to a lot, or like a, a song I heard on the on the internet one time. Poop these school. I am the glabba glabla ghoul. I. Uh, what a, what a guy. See, this is you should not be farting over here. Make make some gas, please. Let me out. Owns. New ABBA just dropped. Really? That's kind of sick. Can I ask a, a, an interesting question? They're like a, a hundred years old, right? Seventy-five? That kind of owns. Not that many artists release their best music in their seventies. There's tra -la, -la, la la guy. Eric Clapton. I'm just joking. <laughs> Did you hear the the Eric Clapton uh, anti-mask song? I, I actually I linked it in the Discord. Um, to to particularly, I wanted Justin to listen to it, and I prefaced it by saying, not only is it obviously like hilarious to begin with that he's making an anti-mask protest song, but it's actually just. It, Irrespective of that, it's one of the worst pieces of music I think I've ever heard released to the public. Like, it's a protest song, but he's afraid to swear. He goes, This has gotta stop! I can't take this BS anymore! And you're like, what is... You can say shit, man. You're like 80 years old, and you're mad. Like, put some real emotion into it. You really said the, the phrase, I can't take this BS anymore? I'm just... It's it's so sad. <laughs> Daddy long legs. Daddy, would you like some long legs? Daddy, would you like some long legs? Oh man, did I just get what the heck is going on? Oh, I got Lord of the Flies. Look at that. Oh, imagine. Ima oh, imagine being a doubter, man. It's so sad. Oh, dude. I didn't even see the figures at the end, but... We'll see, we'll see in a second. 2% of my net worth. Oh no, 23% doubters? Does nobody else see how fricked this is? I'm giving you, this is the safest yield investment you could ever have. I don't lose in repentance anymore. And then you're, you're, you're YOLOing on a doubt? It's a sad story, man. What's your streak at now? 19.995. Dan lost his streak today. Look, you're gonna... You're gonna make me cyberbully. Didn't he have, like, a, a five streak? That's not nothing, okay? It's not zero. I'm just saying. It was a seven? Okay, honestly, seven's not bad. That's respectable. I've only gotten over that a few times in repentance, and that's not even like meant to be a flex, like a few times.
I just realized Eric Clapton didn't make Cliffs of Dover. That's Eric Johnson, something like that. Eric. Eric Lindros, maybe. That is Eric Johnson. People aren't gonna believe this. One of one of my greatest gaming moments of all time. So I played a, a an unbelievable amount of Guitar Hero 2. I bought an Xbox 360 just to play Guitar Hero 2 the summer between my first and, and second year of university. When Guitar Hero 3 uh, Legends of Rock came out in like October 2007, got it at launch. You know, played through the set list. Hey, Miss Murder, Miss Murder, I did. When we were young, I swear to God, got to the expert level track list, played Cliffs of Dover. You're not going to believe what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. I didn't FC it the first time I played it, but I did gold star it the first time I played it. And people that were like in, because it was in my like university house with like a bunch of roommates, they were watching it and going like, what the hell? Like, how did you do that? And I was like, I don't know, man. It was like one of those transcendental moments where I just like, I just felt like the, the song took me over. It just, it just felt good. Anyway, pay out the believers. Casino 2 is done.